What's cracking, people? Angelic Mayhem here. So, welcome to Let's Sing. This is a brand new game that just came out uh, from a company called Voxler. And this is a karaoke game. Now, they are touting this, Voxler this is, they are touting this as the first karaoke game for PC. All right. Um, I'm not entirely sure how accurate that is. Um, there have been other games in which singing is the primary function. So we'll just kind of leave it at that. But in this case, um, I took a look at this program and it's unusual. Let's put it that way. Um, let's start it off with, uh, first of all, this is your main menu, okay? Uh, this up here indicates that my microphone is working and it's blinking green because I'm physically talking into my microphone. This would be a second microphone if you wanted to have a friend. Um, you could plug in a second microphone into another USB port and then that person could sing with you. Um, or actually, it, technically, it's against you. Um, so let's get into uh, the options menu real quick. Uh, basically, tutorials, uh, you know, you're singing. That's it. And then sounds. Um, the music volume you can actually adjust. So if you want to um, sing and be able to hear yourself, you can actually, you know, like turn down the music. Or if you're having trouble hearing the music because you're too loud, you can actually jack the music up. Um, it's entirely up to you. Back. And this is the usual stuff. All right, so here let's get into play. This game is not at all complicated. Uh, basically, you have 40 different songs to choose from, and it is quite an eclectic mix, let me tell you. Um, there's all kinds of stuff. So, for instance, all right, Flow Rider, Right Round, right? That's normal, everyday pop music from you know, like the most recent generation. Then there's Europe, which is like 80s slash early 90s. And then we have um, Le Freak, which is the 1970s. And then in here is also, of all the things, Sam Cooke. What a wonderful world. From the 1950s. So, I mean, you know, they've got a little bit of everything in here, which I actually think is a bad thing, okay? And let me tell you why. If kids are coming here to sing, okay, you want this to be all kids' songs, all right? And, and by kids, I mean teenagers, all right? If teenagers are coming here, you want these to be all teenager songs, all right? And there are a lot, I would say most of them are teenager songs, okay? Um, you got Avril Lavigne in here. You've got um, two songs from, uh, who was it? Oh, Lady Gaga. So, you know, like, there's a lot of stuff like that. But then you also have like this 80s stuff, which clearly is about, you know, if the parents wanted to play, then we would need a couple songs for them. And then apparently if the grandparents wanted to play, we'd have Sam for them. And, you know, so it's like they're obviously trying to hit multiple generations here. And I think that they should have just focused on, you know, like just having songs for the, the teen crowd, because I'm pretty sure that that's who this video game is geared towards. I will also say that a lot of these songs are very difficult to sing. And, you know, a perfect example of that is going to be Flow Rider, okay? Um, here we go. So you probably remember this song from the, uh, from the movie Hangover. And, you know, this song is basically, first of all, it's rap, right? And this guy's talking at like 10,000 miles an hour. So it's really odd. Some of the songs that they've chosen are completely inappropriate for like a karaoke setting. You would not find these songs at like like an actual karaoke night. All right, Spin Doctors, okay? Now you can see I got four stars. Basically, they, they break this song apart into four different sections, okay? And then as you're singing, if you do, let's say, 80% or better, you'll get a, a star for that, okay? Um, all right, so let's get into this. Now, you, what you're listening to right now, you're not going to hear anything, okay? I'm just going to talk over what's happening in the background. All right, so this is the actual music video from back in the day, right? For the song Two Princes by the Spin Doctors. So the intro is happening right now. Time in the bottom right-hand corner. I would like it if it actually told you how much time was left because this means nothing, okay? Um, and then eventually once this is done, this is the first lyric that's going to come up. And this is you singing it. Now, you'll notice that as I'm speaking, it's actually, you know, paying attention to what I'm talking about and actually giving me a score, okay? 
So this game in no way, it doesn't have anything in the way of like, you know, voice recognition or something like that. If that's what you were thinking, you know, it, it has no way to gauge whether you're actually singing the appropriate lyrics or not. And also, if you just give it a tone, like just a straight tone, then you'll also get points for that. Okay, and let me demonstrate. Ah, uh, do you see how like it kind of it goes up and down even though I had like the same tone the entire time it goes up and down it's just registering that you are speaking that you're making some sort of attempt to go along with this song but there's no way that you know like the software is in no way prepared to you know determine if you're doing good or bad now, I totally understand you don't want people who suck at singing or who are tone deaf to feel bad that they can't make the game do what they want, all right? But at the same time, you know, if you're not at all doing anything that is related to the song, that's kind of ridiculous, you know what I mean? And if you can just trick it out by humming or whistling or doing something like that, I feel like there should be something more on the back end that, you know, uh, makes it better. All right, so now we're going to get out of this. Now there's other stuff here like um, like Party Rock Anthem, okay? It's clearly a song that is mostly engineered in the studio, all right? So, you know, it's mostly like, um, like dubstep and, you know, background beats and things like that. So you kind of like, you sing the chorus because you know that, and nobody knows, nobody knows the verses to Party Rock Anthem, right? And then, you know, like in between, you're just kind of sitting here for three or four minutes while, you know, LMFAO does their thing in the background, you know, with the music. Now, as you're going through this, um, each one of these songs will play. So, you know, like you'll get to hear it beforehand and you'll be like, oh, okay, I know that song. Now, let me give you a good, for instance, Flo Rida, okay, his song Right Round features Keisha. Now, this is a good example of where this, this game kind of goes off the rails. Not only are you supposed to sing Flo Rider's part and then sing Keisha's part and in the, at the same time, okay? So you're literally singing his stuff and then go right into Keisha because she comes in right after Flo Rida. But then you also have to sing the background part. So you're singing everything. And theoretically, you know, if you have, let's say, like a backup player with you, so the second microphone is on and you have a friend, you know, like they could sing Keisha's part and you could sing Flo Rida's part and then you'd have a chance to breathe. But if you're by yourself, there's no way that you could get 100,000 because of the way that Flo Rida's parts run right into Keisha's parts, you can't take a breath. So you'd have to be able to hold your breath for three minutes to try and get through the song. It's really pretty, it, it's tough, it really is. And you know, I'm actually uh, considering doing a video where I actually show you how difficult it is to do this one. Um, because of all the songs on here, I only know like three of them. I most certainly am not singing La Freak because I'm just by myself, and that's a, literally a song for multiple people. It's for a group. A lot of this stuff, I have no idea what it is. I recognize this song as being very popular, but I don't, I, you know, I don't personally know it. I'm, I'm an old man. That's an important thing to understand. I should have probably led with this. Um, you know, I'm the old man of gaming, and really, at this point in my life, I don't know who any of these people are. I know who the Pussycat Dolls are, but I don't know that song. Um, I think I know one of the My Miley Cyrus songs, but I'm not singing that. I know the Sam Cooke song <laughs> because it's an oldie. I'm just shocked that it's in here. Oh, and oh, well, the Spin Doctors, of all the songs that are in here, the Spin Doctor song is awesome. But this Rolling Stones song, okay, Sympathy for the Devil. See, it says remix here, and it doesn't say remix here, so you'll be shocked to learn that when you actually get into the song and start singing it, you're like, what is going on here? It turns out that this is a remix um, by, I think it's Fatboy Slim. So the song's completely different. I mean, the lyrics are there, but, uh, you know, like, all the breaks and the, like, the flow and the, the feeling that you get when you're singing the original song, all that's out the window. So, I don't know. It's nice that they gave this a shot. 40 songs is a nice compilation of songs. There are no extra songs that you can, let's say, like buy online and download and things like that. Um, and so you're stuck with these 40 songs. And if you don't know who any of these people are or whatever, you know, I would highly suggest that you actually go out and try to listen to all these songs first to make sure that this is a, a program that you're going to have a lot of fun with. Because really, I mean, this is an eclectic mix. And a lot of these, you're just not going to... 
you know, you're just not going to know them. You're not going to know the song. So really, how many songs do you know? What What is the actual value of this? If you know 10 songs, that's a little bit different than if you knew all 40 songs. If you know all 40 songs, this might be a good value for you. And keep in mind, you are going to be paying for the right to have these songs on your computer. You're basically buying these songs is what it is. So anyway, that is going to be my review. Um, I would like to thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button or subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this in the future. I'm Angelic Mayhem, and I will see you next time.